Good evening everyone. Good evening to all my dear friends, my students and there who are watching me here on YouTube. My name is Shan Banerjee and I am again back with my economics classes. So here, today again I am back with my class 9 video. What I started the last day. Our class 9, chapter number 1 for CBSC was the arbitrary village Palampur. So that Palampur chapter we are still continuing. We have read a basic of our first chapter. What is Palampur? Where it is located? How is it connected with many of the other places? What is the transportation facility to Palampur is having? What are the different trade Palampur does? What is the education system of Palampur? The last video we have also read that we are having four factors of production. Whenever a producer wants to produce an output, it requires four factors of production. Land, labor, capital as well as entrepreneur. Now, we are here in the third video of our continuation part of the particular chapter. So now in this particular video, we'll be discussing about one particular topic that is capital. The thing, the capital, what I have explained in my last video, those who have still not subscribed, I'd like all of you to subscribe my channel so that you can scroll up with my previous videos and you will be getting updated for my upcoming videos. So now, in this particular chapter, what today's discussion is all about, capital. Capital is a produced means of production. Whatever is produced and is acting for the means of producing something else are considered as capital in economics. But the capital that we we'll read here is physical capital. Capital in a broader sense is also known as physical capital. Capital or the physical capital is having two basic different, two basic uh, definitions. The first definition what I have already taught in my our previous video was produce means of production. Just now I told Every each commodity that is produced and act as a means of producing something else is considered as capital in economics. It is also having another definition. Physical capital refers to, I must suggest all my viewers to look here you go. Physical capital refers to the variety of inputs that are required in the production process at every each stage. They are the variety of inputs required in the production process at every each stage. So when being a producer of cake, if I want to produce cake, the raw materials that is required is a part of capital. The ingredients that is required, the essence that is required is also a part of capital. The microwave that is required is also a part of capital. The, the container where I will make the batter, that is also a capital as because that is produced and helping in the further production. So whatever is used, uh, whatever is used for the power for the production process and is produced initially by someone else is considered as capital. Now, this particular physical capital is basically divided into two broad categories. The first category is known as the working capital and the second one is known as the physical uh, fixed capital. So the first one is the working capital and the second one is the Fixed capital. You may tell the fixed capital as the first one, what I have shown here in this particular board. That physical capital I have come here with this particular discussion and will be coming here in the first topic of discussion, physical capital. And then we will be proceeding to the working capital. Right? So now, a question to all of you is, fixed capital, can't you understand? Here in this particular word, we are finding the definition. Why? Or how? Physical capital which is divided broadly into two parts. One is fixed, another is working. These two words, fixed capital and the working capital itself conveys the definition. Right? As the name suggests, fixed capital, they are basically those tools, those machines, as well as those buildings that are being actually made by the producer with some high cost. The amount of money spent on buying tools, the amount of money spent on buying heavy machines and the amount of money in creating this particular plant, this particular big plant and the building in the production process is a very high expenses of the producer. These high expenses are being made by the producer just in order to help the production system 
to run for a longer period of time. Thus, fixed capital, as the name suggests, is that particular capital where the producer invests now in order to get a long-term return. So a long-term return is expected from this particular fixed capital by every producer. Thus, fixed capital is that particular capital where the amount of investment is more which is literally basically much more expensive than this particular working capital, right? And is used for a longer period of time, will give you a return for a longer period of time. These are the basic characteristics of this fixed capital. Now, what are the examples of fixed capital? Fixed capital can be simple machines or simple tools like the sickles used by the farmers, like those of the uh, hand blender used by a cake producer. Some small machineries that are used in the production process are also the fixed capital as because they are bought once and are used for a longer period of time, right? It might be even some sophisticated big machines. Some sophisticated big machines comprises of tractors and harvesters for the farmers. It might even comprise the computers worked in every school and every institution. It also acts as a microwave, the big sophisticated microwave, what a cake producer needs to make a cake. So they are some small tools as well as some sophisticated big machines, which comes under the fixed capital. They are being bought by the producer and is actually expected to give them service for a longer period of time. Right? Now coming up to the next one, working capital. The second category comprises a working capital. As the name suggests, once again I'm telling, working capital refers to that particular capital or that particular produced means of production that can be used for a small period of time but is very much required. It is the only thing that is required to start up a production, to work out with the production process, to work out with the production process, the thing that is required is basically two. One is we require money to start up a production and even we require the most important thing, raw materials to produce an output. So raw materials that is used to produce an output as well as the money that is there in the hand of the producer. So money in hand and the raw materials together comprises of working capital. That's because with either the both, we cannot actually start up a production process. So we require both the things. One is money in hand as well as raw materials to start up a production system in any of the factory, right? So basically buying the raw materials is relatively cheap than buying a particular big plot of land for starting up a production. It is relatively cheap than buying a big harvesters, big tractors, big sophisticated machine. That's why this particular raw materials are used in the short run and is actually helpful and is maximally helpful for the producer to continue its production process. So it actually acts as a working capital. That's why the name is given as working capital and the fixed capital. Every each producer do have the two things. One is it actually have big machines to start up the production. It also do have some raw materials which are actually helpful to turn into some final output. That is all for our today's discussion. So we have come to a conclusion that this physical capital comprises of two things. One is fixed capital as well as working capital. So if there is a fill in the blanks that comes from here, that physical capital is equal to dash plus working capital, the answer will be fixed capital. Yes, I got your answer. And if the answer comprises that physical capital is the sum total of your answer will be fixed capital as well as the working capital. And if you get the question that what do you understand by physical capital, what you will write? Physical capital is actually the produced means of production or it might also be the variety of inputs that are required in the production process which comprises of the fixed capital and the working capital. So we have understood a topic, even we have done a revision with some valid examples. Now it's your turn to take out your book, your NCRT book, which will be very much helpful to understand this particular topic in a very precise manner. If you have any doubt, please don't forget to write that in my comment section. Thank you. Hope to see you soon in my next video. Till then, stay connected. Hope you will subscribe my video. If you like my video, please don't forget to share and give your thumbs up.
Thank you. Have a very nice day.